Hello everybody, it's BlockyDuck, and today I am going to be showing you how to download and install Minecraft Pocket Edition on your computer. So, if you want to learn how to construct intricate and unique buildings in Minecraft, be the first to know about all the latest tips and tricks in Minecraft, and take your Minecraft gaming experience to the next level, then start now by subscribing, clicking the notification bell, and giving this video a thumbs up. Alright everybody, let's go ahead and jump right into today's video, where I will be showing you how to download and install Minecraft Pocket Edition on your computer. Alright everybody, so in order to download and install Minecraft Pocket Edition onto your computer, you need to download a program called BlueStacks. And basically, BlueStacks is a program that you can download and install on your computer. And it basically just takes all of the games that are on the Google Play Store and transfers them over so that you can download them and play them on your computer. So it's actually pretty cool. And my sister is the one who told me about this program, so big shout out to her for that. So if you go to the Game Center, you can just go ahead and search for Minecraft in the top right hand corner of the screen and then click on enter. And this will take you to the Minecraft page here. So if we just click on Minecraft, then it will go ahead and load up. And from here, you can just click on this install button. Now it will say that it costs $6.99 if you do not currently have um, a Google account with Minecraft already installed, but for me, I already have Minecraft Pocket Edition installed on my actual phone, so I can just do it right here from my computer. So if I just click on this install button, then it will go ahead and download and install Minecraft Pocket Edition onto my computer. So we'll just go ahead and let it load here. And as you can see, this is just like you would do on your phone because um, this is basically what the Google Play Store looks like from your phone. And it's just going to download and install Minecraft Pocket Edition onto your computer. Okay, so now that Minecraft Pocket Edition has been successfully installed onto our device, we can just go ahead and click on the open button right here, and this will go ahead and open up Minecraft Pocket Edition. Now, as you can see, it's just like real Minecraft Pocket Edition on your actual phone, but this is on my computer right here, and I'm playing Minecraft through the BlueStacks program, so... I'll just go ahead and let it load up for Minecraft Pocket. So right now, now that we've logged into Minecraft, it's going to ask you to sign into your Microsoft account. So all you have to do is click on this sign in for free button and it'll go ahead and sign in with your Microsoft account. So I've signed into my Microsoft account. So here we are at the Minecraft Play Center and that is not my skin by the way, but um that must have been a skin I made a while back ago. I don't even really remember that skin. But anyways, we can go ahead and click on play. And then as you can see, we have all of the Minecraft world. So you can change files towards to external and then you can just go ahead and create a new world in Minecraft Pocket Edition. Click on create a new world. And this is going to go ahead and bring up the world category. So if we type in, we'll just name the world Blocky Duck. We can make it survival. Just click on create. This will go ahead and load up the Minecraft world. And as you can see, this is just like playing Minecraft on the Pocket Edition. So just go ahead and click on OK and proceed. And here we are. The world is going to generate. So I think that this BlueStacks app is definitely a very cool program. So you can play any mobile game on this BlueStacks app. You don't just have to play Minecraft Pocket Edition. You can play any game that is available on the Google Play Store in this BlueStacks app right here. So that is very useful to know if you have any mobile games that you would rather play on your computer and this actually might be a really good way in order to download minecraft because the pocket edition is a lot cheaper than the java edition so i'm not really sure how these controls work because this is the first time playing so here we go we're moving around we do have the cursor so if we turn we'll just shift left and then you just hold down the mouse so you can pan around and look at that we've already found a village how cool is that there's a desert village right over here so we can just go ahead on over just moving the mouse around this is pretty cool because i'm playing a minecraft and it is in the pocket edition the controls are a bit touchy so you may want to do some tweaking to the settings but overall this is it minecraft pocket edition on your computer i never even 
knew that this was possible before, like, yesterday. But here it is. Like I said, the controls are a bit touchy, and I am so used to the Java edition of Minecraft, I don't really play the Pocket edition that much. Especially on my computer, so. To remove a block, you just hold down the mouse. And then, in order to place a block, you should just be able to take your mouse and right-click. For some reason, the right-click function isn't working for the placing blocks command. But here is a village, so this is definitely cool, but it is Minecraft Pocket Edition. And then we have a nice-looking savanna over there with an ocean. This is actually a really nice Minecraft world, in my opinion. I'm going to try to figure out how you can place blocks. So, if you click on E, it's going to bring up your inventory, just like you would do in Minecraft Java Edition. We have all of the different things that you can do. If I go to my settings, you can figure out how you will place blocks here. Maybe I can change it to right-click. So, controls, you go to keyboard and mouse. So, the pick block, use item, place block would be button 2. So... Pick block would be button 3. So if we go back. If I. There we go. So if you just hold down the center. If you click on the middle button. Where like the little scrolling. Um, wheel is on the mouse. That is placing the blocks. But I would honestly recommend going to the settings. And clicking on keyboard and mouse. And I would just click on. Let's see how you would do this. You would just do... You can do Z to use item in place of block. You can do... Um, you can do N. So, if you change that, then anytime we're going to go ahead and destroy this block, and then if we scroll over and hit the N key, then it'll go ahead and place the block. So that's another way to do it. I actually kind of like the um, cursor better. So if we just go to the settings and we click on keyboard and mouse at the bottom, it should say reset to default. If we scroll all the way down here, we will just click on continue. And if we scroll upwards, then there we go. Use item place block is button 2. Now pick block is button 3. So that is the default settings just like you would do in Minecraft Java Edition. So now here we go. If we collect this block of sand, then we scroll down and... It's still not letting me place the block for some reason. Okay, there we go. So here we go. If we just, um... I think I might have finally figured it out. So if we scroll down, I'm just going to collect all four of these blocks of sand here. And then if you just click on the area with your left mouse, so you don't use the right part of your mouse at all. You just use the left part. So... Um, just one small click is to place the block, and um, a larger click is to actually go ahead and destroy the block. It's just like Minecraft Block Edition, how you just tap on it, tap on the screen to place the block, and then if you want to actually destroy the block, you just hold it down and collect the block. But anyways, that's how you play Minecraft Pocket Edition on your computer, so that is pretty cool if you are interested in doing that. I honestly don't know how many people are even going to be interested in playing Minecraft Pocket Edition on their computer, but if you are, I hope that this video helped you out, and I hope that you can... Um, definitely do that. We do have a chest in here for this village, by the way. Um, but you guys can just go ahead and explore the different Minecraft worlds, and I hope that you enjoyed this